said Vicious, said Justice, Psycho said, Lord Humongous, whatever you want to call him, there's absolutely no doubt that he was a top wrestler and a hugely intimidating presence in the ring. But exactly what height did Sid Judy claim? Fellow wrestler Bret Hart once said, What Sid Judy lacked as a worker, he made up for as a great looking specimen. He was well muscled at six foot nine with a big square jaw. Now Sid indeed might have been billed as a colossal six foot nine during his career, but did he ever actually claim that? Well, he once filled in a data sheet and gave his height as six foot eight and his weight as 318 pounds. And his nickname was Skyscraper. I mean, would you question Psycho Sid if he told you he was six foot eight? I know Hulk Hogan certainly wouldn't. Whenever those two guys were in the ring, it was Hogan who was staring up at Psycho Sid. Hogan definitely could look near two inches shorter and Sid claiming six foot eight certainly helps Hogan's own claim of six foot six. Now I've seen some people claim that Sid may have worn lifts in his boots, but whenever you saw Psycho Sid in his wrestling gear, his boots didn't look anything out of the ordinary. Ted DeBias might disagree, I've absolutely no idea what's going on there. Sid looks like he's right up there in Kevin Nash territory, which of course isn't the case. Now Diesel does look like he's at least a couple of inches taller than Sid, but as much as three inches? Well that's debatable. What about one of the greatest wrestlers of all time? Yes, I'm talking about The Undertaker. Was Sid really as tall as him? Well, I'm not convinced he was. For an extremely big guy like Sid, in the ring, he stood remarkably well in face-offs. In fact, I'd call him the wrestling equivalent of Sylvester Stallone for maximising his posture to intimidate his opponents. But the biggest shock of all is that this year, Sid dropped an enormous bombshell. In a podcast interviewer, he was asked, what's your height for real? Now Sid's answer caught most of us by surprise, except for the Mexican mentor. Who is that, you may ask? Well, the Mexican mentor is a mysterious figure who once popped up on CelebHeights.com with his height list, which is a true barefoot heights of wrestlers. And on it, Sid was listed as 198 centimetres or 6 foot 6. Surely not. Impossible, right? Anyway, in reply to the podcaster, Sid gave the brutal, honest truth that no other wrestlers want to hear. Sid is only six foot six, bare foot. That's a whole inch less than the average guest on celebheights.com. Now I consider Sid around six foot six and a half because that's the bare minimum he tended to look in the wrestling ring. The thing is though, when Sid was arrested, he didn't actually look much above six foot six in shoes, but to be fair, he isn't in his prime there. He's probably lost some height by then. There's one more photo I'd like to show you, and that's with a former contributor to CelebHeights.com, the magnificent Mamoon. Now Mamoon measured himself at five foot eight or one seven three centimeters, and he actually met up with other Celeb Heights visitors, so he's a true five foot eight guy, and here he is with Big Sid Yudi. Now Sid might have a little camera and sneaker advantage, but both of them are standing very well, and Sid, he looks absolutely enormous there. So what do you guys think? Do you really believe Sid measured only six foot six barefoot? Or do you reckon he measured above that and simply forgot or doesn't care about an extra half inch?